In this video we are going to take a look at the installation of PD510 standing seam system. This system is equipped with a click-on fixing and a perforator to get the panels fixed to the substrate. The standing seam panels are delivered cut to size. In other words, the panel is in full length of the raft. In sections such as valleys and hips, the angle cuts they have to be done on site. Standing seam panels can be cut with a handheld circular saw suitable for cutting steel sheets, shears, nibbler, jigsaw or any other device that does not produce heat when used. The use of angle grinder for cutting uh, the panels or flashings is strictly forbidden because it burns the coating and it burns the zinc and may instantly damage the panel. Every installation starts with the correct buildup of the structure. The manufacturer's recommendation is double countered battens over breathable membrane and we normally use two by ones vertically along the rafters and then four by ones with centers 300 mil apart fixed to the two by ones horizontally. It is very important to have continuous ventilation behind the cladding at all times. This is why double countered battens over breathable membrane is recommended by the manufacturer. The correct placement of battens uh, on the roof structure is very important. Four by one with the spacing of 200 to 300 millimeters between centers give you sturdy enough surface to walk on the pan on the roof without damaging the panels on the gables or on the edges of the roof um, we have to mount additional two by ones this two by one is used so we can fix the panels through the seam sideways instead of piercing the top of the panel with the color coded screws Before installing the roof panels, uh, we normally do the, all of the preparation work. We have to make sure that the breathable membrane is installed correctly, that there is a gap for continuous ventilation. And then we can proceed with what we call the eaves flashing with the starting edge. The eaves flashing is installed on the first batten using stainless steel flathead screws. Eaves flashings do not have to be overlapped. If you are using roof mounted gutter brackets, they have to be installed beforehand. When installing the first panel on the roof, we normally go with the full panel. In this case, we're doing the installation starting from the right and going towards the left. So the right hand side of the panel is going to be fixed to the additional 2x1 we've put on, on the roof structure sideways using the color coded screws. And the left side of the panel is going to be fixed to the battens through the perforated strip using the stainless steel flatheads. A very handy tip for installation is to cut the corner of the perforated line when you're fixing the panels. By doing so, it will be easier to align the panels along the eaves flashing. Make sure not to over tighten the screws. With changes of the temperatures, the metal expands and contracts and we have to leave some room for the metal to move. Once you have your first panel installed, the rest of the panels uh, they will be fixed to the roof in the same manner. To click on uh, the next panel, we normally use our own weight or you can use a rubber mallet as well. Installation of the last panel on the roof slope requires a little bit of fabrication. You have to measure the distance uh, between the seam and the 2 by one we put on the top of the 4 by ones And this is going to be the effective width of the panel that you need. The last panel will have to be cut in full length, leaving 25 mil extra to create the upstand so we could fix the panel sideways to the 2x1 in the same manner as we did for the first panel. To cut the panels we can use the circular saw with a blade for mild steel or we can use pelican snips or nibbler.
stage of installation is the installation of ridge sealing strips. Ridge sealing strips uh, are perforated metal strips uh, in a full width of the sheet, which are fixed on the top of every single panel. And this would be your fixing point for the ridge capping. Once you have your ridge sealing strips installed, the next stage is the installation of the flashings. Uh, the barge flashings would be installed on the gables and should finish the roof off uh, with installing the ridge cap. 